Well, question 21 is uh, of uh, integer type. Question says, a hemisphere of radius r and refractive index 1.5 is placed on a plane mirror as shown. If the image of object O coincides with the object itself, then value of r in centimeter is. Well, the image of object can coincide with itself if the rays retrace themselves from the mirror. Okay, So, the principle of reversibility of light is in application here and uh, for the rays to reverse themselves, they all must be incident perpendicular to the mirror. That means, the rays after refraction by the first surface, they are going parallel to each other, parallel to the principal axis. That means, V first refraction is at infinity, the image forms at infinity. So, now it is pretty simple. We can apply the concept of refraction at a spherical surface where we put V as infinity. So, the equation is mu or 1.5 by V which is same infinity minus mu 2 by V minus mu 1 by U. Mu 1 is 1 and U is minus 30 is equal to mu 2 minus mu 1 or 1.5 minus 1 or 0.5 by r. It is very clear r is equal to 15 centimeter. So, the answer is 15, right? So, answer here is 15. Let us go to the next question now. Question 22 says in the arrangement shown in the figure, the distance in centimeter of final image from the lens is well in the figure we have a convex lens and a concave mirror the distances have been shown we have to find the distance of final image from the lens so we first apply the lens formula and then we will apply the mirror formula and see what happens let's first apply the lens formula and see where the image is forming so, for the lens, u is minus 60 centimeter, f of course is 20 centimeter. So, 1 by v is 1 by f plus 1 by u and which is equal to the r is 20 centimeter. The focal length of the lens is given as 20 centimeters, 1 by 20 minus 1 upon 60. LCM is 60 is 3 minus 1. So, V, let us call it V1 is 60 by 2 or 30 centimeter. Okay. So, this lens is forming image somewhere here and then that means this distance is going to be if this is the image formed by the lens this is 30 centimeter and this distance is now only 10 centimeter. That means, the image formed by the lens is at the focus of the mirror. So, which means, after reflection by the mirror, rays will all go parallel to the principal axis and finally converge at the focus of the convex lens. That means, the final image forms at a distance of 20 centimeter from the lens. I repeat again, the image formed by the lens is at the focal point of the mirror, which means the rays reflected by the mirror are parallel to the principal axis, which means the lens will converge them again at its focus. So, that means the final image is at a distance of 20 centimeter from the lens. So, our answer is going to be 20. Let us go to the next question now. Question 23. An object O is placed at a distance of 31 centimeter from a lens of focal length 20 centimeter. Two glass slabs of mu equal to 4 by 3 and thickness 4 centimeter are introduced as shown in figure. Distance in centimeter between object and final image is. Well, we know this uh, glass slab will shift the apparent position of the object and the shift produced by a glass slab is given as 
let's call it delta x the shift t into 1 minus 1 upon mu t here is given as 4 centimeter and mu is 4 by 3 so it is 3 by 4 that means the shift by the slab is 1 centimeter so each slab will cause a shift of 1 centimeter of course in the direction of propagation of ray so object is placed at a distance of 31 centimeter from a lens of focal length 20 centimeter so that means after refraction by the slab object is effectively at a distance of 30 centimeter from the lens let us apply the lens formula now u is minus 30 centimeter and f is 20 centimeter let us say 1 by v1 is 1 by f plus 1 by u or 1 by 20 minus 1 by 30 this is 3 and this is 2 so v1 is 60 centimeter so if the slab had not been there the image would have formed this the second slab had not been there the image would have formed at a distance of 60 centimeter from the lens but because of slab there will be shift of 1 centimeter further so that means the final image forms at a distance of 61 centimeter from the lens the object was at a distance of 31 centimeter from the lens so the total distance between the object and the final image is 61 plus 31 or 92 centimeter so our answer is 92 let's go to the next question now question 24 says an inductor L equal to 100 milli Henry a resistor R equal to 20 ohm and a battery e equal to 20 volt are connected as shown in figure for a long time then the switch S is closed at T equal to 0 if the potential difference across the inductor at T equal to 5 millisecond is N by E find the value of N well it is a case of decay of current in the inductor and uh, the initial current I naught was 20 upon R that means 1 ampere the expression of decaying current in the inductor will be after the switch is closed I T is equal to I naught which is 1 ampere e to the power minus t by L by R. Now the time constant L by R here is equal to 0 0.1 upon 20 second okay which we can further write it as Five millisecond. Okay. If you multiply it by thousand, this is what we'll get. So five millisecond is the time constant. Now we have been asked the potential difference across the inductor. So potential difference across the inductor V L is L D I by D T. L is zero point one Henry and di by dt will become minus 1 upon tau well this expression is also 1 into e to the power minus t by tau e to the power minus t by tau right we can take the mod of this and uh, so VL is 0 0.1 by 5 millisecond that means 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 and e to the power minus 1 
so which is 1000 into 0.1 or 100 by 5 E or 20 by E volt which means value of N turns out to be 20. So our answer here is 20. Let us go to the next question now. Question 25 says the magnetic field in the traveling EM wave has peak value of 50 nano tesla peak value of electric field strength in volt per meter is well it's a pretty straightforward question is formula based question we know the peak electric field will be c times peak magnetic field and that means it is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 multiplied by 50 into 10 to the power minus 9 volt per meter. If we solve, we simply 15 volt per meter. So, that means our answer is going to be 15. Well, students, with that we come to the end of this quick solutions. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best for your preparation and the forthcoming examinations.